Hey everybody, it's Lacey, and I made myself a new computer desk. And it was super simple and fun, and I made this video so I can share it with you so you can have fun making it and have a super awesome computer desk too. Um, you're gonna need a few things. Table saw or circular saw, two sheets of three quarter inch plywood, pocket hole jig, one and quarter inch pocket hole screws, a drill, three quarter inch or bigger edge banding, wood stain, lacquer or polyurethane, or something to seal it, a brush, and some mineral spirits to clean it off if you'd like to reuse it later, wood clamps, and some sandpaper. I used 220 grit. You're also gonna need a plan. I started by looking at the location where I wanted to put my desk. It's an 11 foot long space in front of some windows. I figured, if I tried to make an 11 foot long table out of plywood, it was gonna sag in the middle. So I decided to make it three separate pieces. I then modeled this in SketchUp to make sure I would be happy with the final product. And I'll include my SketchUp model down below so you can see how it all fits together and edit if you want to. After I was happy with my model, I started making a cutting plan to figure out how many sheets of plywood I needed. Tip, cut pieces with the grain for increased strength. I ended up needing two pieces of plywood with plenty of room to make it longer if you needed to. I will link to both of these layouts down below. Next, cut the pieces. I like to cut the big pieces first and then the smaller ones. Please be very careful while doing this and wear hearing and eye protection. Also, these large pieces of plywood are very heavy and it's a good idea to ask a friend to help you with them. Cutting the legs was particularly interesting because I chose to taper them. You can also make them straight, but if you want to make them tapered, mark three inches down on one side to keep it straight for the skirt to attach and mark one inch over on the bottom. Then draw a line between those points and cut it along that line. For the first one, you're gonna have to cut it by hand. But after that, you can use it to make a jig to cut the rest if you're using a table saw. To make the jig, you take a scrap piece of wood and make sure all of its edges are squared off. Place the leg you cut by hand against the table saw fence and place the scrap wood against it. Cut off the long edge of the scrap wood. Attach the wider end of the scrap wood to a small block to give you something to push the leg through with. Make sure the small block is even with the square side of the wood and sticks out on the side that's angled so it can help you push the leg through. Then line the jig and fence up so that the blade hits the leg at the place you want to start your taper. And then use the jig to push the leg through. Next, drill the pocket holes. Pocket hole screws are perfect for this kind of project because they make it easy to join things at 90 degrees. I suggest marking where you want them ahead of time with a pencil, but there's no need to be exact. You just want them around six to eight inches apart with one really close to both ends. You should also choose to put your pocket holes where they can be hidden. My pocket holes will only be visible on the insides of the legs and the insides of the skirts. For the legs, drill pocket holes on the narrower piece toward the flat side and at the top edge. Make sure you make half of the legs have the taper on the left and half of the legs have the taper on the right so they mirror each other on the table. And for the skirts, drill holes along the top and on the two ends. Sand everything. You don't want any splinters. I used a hand sander with 220 grit paper. It makes the wood feel really nice and smooth. It also helps to clean off any dirt or pencil marks that may be left over. Now we attach the edge banding. This is how you hide the ugly edges of the plywood. Using a standard iron with no water in it, Kastim would cause the wood to swell and that would be bad. Iron slowly and press firmly. You're melting the glue on the back to make it stick. Then run a scrap bit of wood over it to make sure it's pressed down really well. Once it cools, use your fingers to gently make sure it's holding well, especially at the ends. Trim off the excess with a utility knife, 
and be super careful doing it. Please don't cut yourself, I'll pass out. Now it's time to make it gorgeous. Stir up your stain and smear it all over. I'm using some disposable shop rags, but you can use a brush or a cloth. Make sure to fill in all the grooves. I like to leave it sit for a couple minutes before wiping off the excess with a clean rag. Oh, and I highly recommend you wear gloves. They call it stain for a reason. Time to lacquer. I've had trouble with brushing lacquer leaving some brush strokes in my stain in the past. So this time I tried something a little different. I bought two cans of spray shellac and sprayed all the pieces with a single coat so that it would hopefully create a protective seal over the stain. It worked. I came back later and brushed on two more coats of lacquer and there were no brush strokes. Next we're going to put it all together. Start by assembling the legs. Clamp the two leg pieces down to a work surface, and then put the pocket hole screws in to secure them together. Once you've built all your legs, attach the skirts to the legs. This can be a little tricky, so you might need a second set of pants for it, and a lot of clamps. And then, attach the skirts to the tabletop. I found it easiest to do this with it sitting, like the table was sitting on its side. And then, you're done. Well, with one table. The only difference for the middle one is that it has a skirt in the front. So it will be a square instead of a U-shape. So, you're almost done. And look at how nice they turned out. And I have so much space. I can fit my lights behind my monitor, I can fit my microphone off to the side, and I can stretch my legs out really far under my desk. I hope you found this helpful and have fun making this project. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. And I hope you enjoyed this video that I've made for you. Please join your fellow video enjoyers in subscribing so that you can see all my videos as soon as they come out. And please hit that thumbs up button to let me know you liked it. And always remember, you're special and amazing. And thanks for being you. Bye.